friend's letter and package came from Japan. Greetings, Joelle, my friend. I hope all is going well for you in the United States. I, on the other hand, cannot say the same. I was sent this tape, the very same tape you hold before you that I have mailed to you. But don't watch it, because it is cursed. Once you watch the tape, seven days later, you'll die. You'll die. And in that time between, you will be haunted by the ghost who possesses it. So don't watch the tape that I have sent you. It has tormented me and it has tormented others. There's no escaping from it. I don't know what to do. Good luck with the tape, my friend. Best wishes. IP freely. P.S. I heard that we sound the same, that we have a similar voice, but I don't see it. P.P.S. Cut me some slack on my grammar. I did go to school in Crawford, Texas. P.P.P.S. Um, you owe me $20, so, uh, where's my money? What? That sounds like the premise to a shitty movie. Some scary ghost you are. Man, imagine if they turned such a stupid concept into a movie. It would fucking suck. New York City gal like me really beat up on a pregnant teenager. I never back down. Is that your feet? And this is my baby's foot. Disaster movie. Hi, Spidey here again, and welcome to the 31 Nights of Fright Movie Thon. Three full days of movie reviews for the specific celebration of Halloween and horror. So let's kick things off with a properly named Disaster Movie. Starring, uh, <laughs> wait. This movie doesn't even star any talented people, actors, or anyone of importance. Whatever, let's just get things rolling. Imagine you're watching a morbidly disgusting person in a bathroom. Now picture yourself throwing money at him as he unbuckles his pants, squats down on a filthy, shit-stained, bug-written, disease-infested toilet, and takes the biggest and vilest diarrhea-inducing shit in the history of mankind while you sit there and watch. This is exactly how it felt watching Disaster Movie. But, unlike my little scenario, I didn't actually pay to watch this movie, because I would have to be out of my mind to do so. I watched this movie for free, and the only reason I even watched it in the first place was so I could review the movie. <sighs> People, do I really need to get into this movie? We've all seen how the movies prior to this have been with Meet the Spartans, Epic Movie, and Date Movie. 
They all extremely sucked ass and succeeded to fail in almost every sense of the word. And the worst part about these movies is that they keep getting worse. You can literally see the budget, standard, scenery, performance, and even the actors getting more pathetic by the movie. I don't even know why I'm going to do this, but let's run down the movie, shall we? Story. What fucking story? This movie barely has a point. At the most, it's about random people joining together to save the world by putting the crystal skull back in its place with interjectable gags about the world of pop culture in between, and even those gags are poorly done and beyond sophomoric. The movie's budget value is also so low and poor that sometimes I think I could shoot a prettier movie. I mean, seriously, this movie is ugly to the eye. Cast and acting. <laughs> Please! Who does this movie even star? Carmen Electra, who makes a living aiding to produce shit like this? She's an awful actress and is horrible in this movie as she is in every other one that she's been in. Screw it. I'm not even going to disrespect the word actress by calling Carmen Electra one. Instead, we'll say that she's a living typecast rather than a human being playing a part in a movie. Vanessa Manillo? Look, there's a reason she's not an actress and this movie is proof of it. Her performance was horrid and she should just go back to fucking Nick Lachey and hosting mindless dribble on MTV. And now for the worst of the worst, Kim Kardashian. Holy mother of god in all things human. Seeing her act was as painful as having a vice grip attached to my nuts. Every single line that came out of her mouth felt as if she was barely reading her lines in front of her, and her range as an actress is that of a piece of shit. <sighs> she should just go back to doing whatever the hell she does, or um, blowing rappers if you count that as a day job. The rest of the cast is comprised of Matt TV's sad attempt at a cast, and they all managed to set the bar as low as they could. The saddest thing about this movie is that it could have been great. Look. I love spoofs, and I think they have the potential to be amazing. Mel Brooks' space balls and blazing saddles are proof of that. But Jason Friedberg and Aaron Seltzer aren't gonna bother to go to such lengths, and they never will, and you know why? Because they are looking for an easy payday for what they do. They know that they could achieve box office gold by doing the least amount of work, and this movie and their others are proof of that. A lot of people like calling these guys talentless idiots and whatnot, but let's face it, they aren't the ones who are stupid here, it's the people. They created a pile of crap with little effort because they know that people will drive to see this movie even though it's obviously bad and they won't stop making movies like this because there's a profit to be made by these movies and an easy profit at that. If people simply stop watching their movies altogether then maybe that'll drive the idea home that these movies are not only bad but not wanted either. But sadly there's a pathetic fan base out there for these type of movies and this is coming from a fan of spoofs. Disaster Movie gets a 3 out of 10.